Yeah, we back. Now, today's going to be a quick video. I'm going to be responding to a comment that I got in the last video that I uploaded entitled Indian man says black people did not build America reaction. And in that video, I was reacting to a tweet that was put out by Dinesh D'Souza. Go check that video out. But one of the homies got in the comment section and he said this. You got it twisted, brother. That is not how history unfolded. When the Europeans met the Egyptians, they were living in caves. Know your history. And I said this. We're talking about West Africans versus Western Europeans during the last six centuries. We are not talking about the Eurasians versus the East Africans from 3000 years ago. Now, let me expand on that. In my last video, I had said that I no longer want to see black men bragging about what they built for different groups of European men. I had said that instead of talking about who built what for who, we should be focused on building something for ourselves. What do we have to show for what we built for ourselves in the modern day right now, today, 2023? And the brother got in the comment section and I think he assumed that I was saying that black men never built civilizations in the past or because anybody who follows my channel knows that I'm constantly bringing up pre-colonial African nations, empires, kingdoms whenever I make historical references in my videos. But if you notice, when I talk about history, I never go too far back. The farthest I'm going to go is to the 1400s because our current situation today is due to a series of events that have occurred over the last six centuries, right? From the 1400s up until now. On my channel, you're never going to hear me bring up any history from the year 2500 BC. I'm not going to go that far back because it's not relevant to the current situation today. Any historical reference I make is relevant to the current predicament today. And on top of that, most of my content is focused on West Africa and the diaspora. I'm not really going to, I don't really be up in the East Africa and the North Africa and the South Africa. And on top of that, the wealthiest and most powerful man to ever walk the earth came out of West Africa, straight out that West Coast of Africa. So me, I stay in West Africa. I stay in the diaspora. That's what, that's why I stay. That's why I focus on. I don't really go into East Africa. I'm not going to talk about the ancient Nubian Kings from the 25th dynasty and the Potter. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to do that, bro. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick to my pre-colonial African kingdoms. I'm going to stick to my my diaspora politics my diaspora history things like that but when i come with those hard hitting videos like the last one on my channel i keep it balanced and fair i got videos where listen I'm, i tell the women to pull up a seat and i give them the same harsh reality as well but i got to give my brothers the same harsh reality as well i don't need to bring up the glory of ancient egypt or mali or the, the kingdom of Kanem or the Songhai Empire whenever we're talking about the current situation of today because to be honest those men who established those nations and controlled those societies they were different men than us they were better men than us okay they were better men than us they were more courageous men than us they were listen we are not the same as those men the men from those pre-colonial African nations kingdoms and empires would never live under the circumstances that we tolerate today they would never take the disrespect that we tolerate today man they would have been they would have been set it off man but in summary in that video when i said what has the black man built for himself currently in the year 2023 that does not that does not mean that i was implying that the black man has never built anything in the past if the richest and most powerful man to ever walk the earth came straight out the west coast of africa then obviously the black man built something in the past i'm not i'm not saying the black man didn't build societies and civilizations for himself in the past but in the present day what does he have to show and I think the brother had felt away when I said that because he came in the comment section talking about the Europeans was in the caves and they met the Egyptians and we taught them how to bathe. Bro, I know the history, bro. I know. I know. Trust me. I know all of that. I know about the Hyksos. I know about Pharaoh Amos. I know about <laughs> I know about all of that, bro. I know about it. I know about King Pianki. I know about King Tahaka. I know about King Tantamani. I know about King Shabaka. I know about bro. I know. I know. I know. Trust me. I know. But me personally, I've always been drawn to West Africa. Militaristically, politically, economically, our glory days were in West Africa. On my channel, you're not going to see me talk too much about Egypt, but I don't got a problem with Egypt. Every now and then I might drop, I might name drop Egypt, but it's not something I focus on because at the end of the day, Egypt is lost, bro. Egypt is lost. It ain't black men that's running Egypt right now. <laughs> it's not black men that's running Egypt. So I... Man, I wipe my hands with Egypt. I'm cool. So it is what it is, man. But I try to stay focused on the current events of the day, the reality of the day. And when it comes to history, I try not to go too far back. I'm not going to go back to 2000 years ago, 3000 years ago, 4000 BC. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay within the last few centuries up until today. But yeah, man, it's your boy Nefakar Desaline back in the building. Yes, indeed. Like, share, subscribe, cash app in the description. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion I left on a horse and came back in that ass And I left with abundance and came back to famine We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping Look how the mighty have fallen Used to be running, now we be walking When you be cooning, that's when they applauded Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter Gotta come up in this shit, they stuck in the mix Really, my heart would be breaking That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business Pass it down in generation Talking about money and power and building a nation That's a deadly combination Never be watching the TV, they pushing agendas Falsifying information no
they got malice intentions Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension Enemy watching, he blocking my vision Can't for the check, cause I need my redemption Building my kingdom, I need it protected Ready for war like a young money Congo Never decided the team is the motto Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making ambition I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious I came for the power, they came for the bitch They making no hour, they wage, I got business This shit is an art, and they can never be taught Selling my soul, I can never be bought Play with my money, I see you in court Run to the check and I do it for sport Babylon falling, I go to the source Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so at least Shorty be chosen, I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gonna murder me Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces